Hello, my name is Fritz de Mull, and I would like to introduce you to the divergence theorem of Gauss and the electrical fields. This, this is an overview of the available presentations, and one of those is the divergence theorem. We start with the law of Gauss for the electric field. This is a volume V with the surface A and of course the, the normals are dA normal to the surface A. We assume that there is an electric field in arbitrary uh, dimensions, arbitrary directions, and Gauss law states that the surface integral over the electric field is equal to the enclosed charge or uh, when there is a charge distribution equal to the volume integral over the distribution. The goal of this expression is to calculate the electric field from the charge but it's only possible when there is a symmetry present. And the question is, is there an inverse expression to calculate the charge or the charge density from the electric field. Gauss law in fact is a dimension switch and this means that it relates what happens inside the volume, the rho, to what you observe at the surface, the A. Other, another dimension switch relation is Stokes law for the magnetic field. The question is, let's calculate the local r distribution of charge from the electric field. Here we have the situation again, and inside the volume there is a volume element, dV, and that dV is present here in this relation. To look locally, let's observe a local volume element, dV. And the volume element has sides dx, dy, and dz. What is the efflux through dv? Here is the volume element again, with p in the mid, mid of the volume element, and let's calculate the flux through that volume element. Well, that flux that has a component through the left and right sides, plus a component through the top and bottom sides, plus a component through the front and back sides. Well, let's calculate the outward flux through the right side. That outward flux is the scalar product of the field strength and the normal to the surface. And for the right side, that's Ex, E and the X, direction here times the surface and that's dx dz and it has to be taken at x y plus dy over 2 z. The left side is the same, similar, but then with ey at minus dy over 2 and together we have the net outward flux through the uh, left right side of V is the right side minus the left side. Here we have the situation, that is the y coordinate with y minus half dy, y plus half dy. And it can be seen that the flux is can be written as the slope times one half di, dy and here minus the slope times one half di. And the result, as you can see, is the slope times the volume element. The slope times the volume element. So, in general, we have the net outward flux through the left and right sides. That was the slope in that direction times the volume element. And analogously, 
we can do that for the top bottom sides that gives you the slope in the z direction times the volume element and the front back in the wax direction and in total it will be the sum of the derivatives to x y and z of the uh, electric field times the volume element so we have thus this sum of slopes times the volume element and that is the definition of the divergence divergence the definition of the divergence notation is dyv div times e and that's the definition of the divergence and we can write that the flux net flux through that volume is the divergence of e times the volume element well now we arrive to the local expression for Gauss law the element is given here and the enclosed charge in that volume element of course is given by rho the charge density times dv and thus we can write the Gauss law in local form is divergence of e that is rho divided by epsilon naught and e and rho are functions of the coordinates now we go from local to integral <coughs> we have that element with the flux law here and let's sum over all the elements and we all the elements are adjacent to each other and it can be seen that all the internal flux contributions cancel and the contributions at the surface a only remains this means that when you calculate the flux over the uh, surface it's equal to the volume integral of all the contributions divergence e for all those volume elements well now how to use the laws this is the integral expression this is can be calcul can be used for calculation of the electric field from the charge density but it can be done in symmetrical situations only this is the differential or local expression and that can be used to calculate the rho from the electric field now what is the physical meaning of the divergence this is the expression and this is the local expression and it means that the divergence can be seen as the local microflux per unit of volume and with micro we mean something like the volume element here <coughs> gas in general here is the flux law again Gauss law and this is a general for a general factor x the flux law can be written as the for the x times dA integrated over the surface is the volume integral of the divergence and that divergence theorem is used in many fields of physics scattering uh, fluid dynamics uh, particle transport and so on thank you very much